Hello friends, today we're going to be looking at constructible style sheets. Now these allow us to actually create a style object using JavaScript. Looking at, say, a lit element at the moment, the, the general method of applying styles to the component is to simply put a style tag into your, your HTML template. This, you know, this, this, this works and you know, till now, I've not been aware of a, a major problem with it, but there's certainly issues around duplication of the CSS. If you've got your component on a page multiple times, then that style is going to be exactly the same uh, for all of these components, and it's just going to be in that that template representation of your your component. Browsers will dedupe, I think, um, but there's there's effort involved in this, um, and I'm not sure if it's always going to be uh, deduped across browsers. Um, so there's certainly a case for for having a constructible style sheet that that we can then have one source for the style sheet, and then all of our components are linked back to it. Let's have a look at an example as best, I think. Okay, so we have Visual Studio Code open here. I've got a custom element on the left here. Just make it a bit smaller so it fits on the screen. Um, it's very simple. It's just going to put uh, this text on the screen for our element uh, within a shadow root. And we just got a HTML page here that imports our element and then displays it. Okay, let's just uh, let's just view that to start with. So we open up live server. Now again, this is only in Chrome Canary at the moment. So let's bring up Canary. Okay, so now normally let's have a look how we would style this. We'd come into our HTML here. You know, if we were in lit element, it would be in our render function, our, sorry, our HTML tagged template, and you can just put a style element in. And we could say, um, background orange, and what have we got it in? Let's, so let's, let's put on a H3. Background orange, like so, and we'll put our H3 around this text. H3. So as we can see, we're getting our background there as orange. So that's great, um, but there's this problem with duplication of the style tag. So. Before constructable style sheets, we would have to do something like document.create element with style and use that object. And um, the problem with that is flash of unstyled content when you add it in, it, it's not going to work as nice uh, as you would like. And that's where constructable style sheets helps us out. So let's have a look at how we would construct one of these. So what I can do is simply say let uh, let sheet equals new CSS style sheet. So we've got our CSS style sheet here now, and we can add in um as even by an import which is what i'll try actually here was a little nicer we can we can replace the styles with some other styles so we can say sheet dot replace and then give that what we're going to bring in here and we are going to do um we're going to do an act import and we're going to give it a style dot css like so and we need that all in quotes, I think, like that. Let's um, let me just get rid of this one. We don't need to see that at the moment, and then I can have this like that. Okay, so let's create that file. Well, let's grab our style and take that out of here. So we're losing that duplication. 
and let's create a style CSS and we won't need our tags anymore so that should work there and then if we come back in and give that a save right what we need to do now is so we've created our style sheet we've brought it in we've got this object now we need to attach it to our web component so we can come down here to our shadow reference which is node and say adopted adopted style sheets adopted style sheets I think sheets equals and then it's going to be an array of our objects and we just got the one so it's sheet and I saw it there it is it is orange it worked um, yeah so that is how we then um, have this one object that is attached to multiple web components. There you go, um, constructible style sheets. It's only in Chrome at the moment, so don't go and use this yet. Uh, it is a, um, an accepted web standard though, so the other browsers will be implementing it in due course. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want to see the next one, remember to click on that subscribe and the notification button and I'll see you all next time.